All right, everyone, in this video, I want to show you uh, a closer look at what MSE asymmetry looks like. Again, asymmetry is when the MSE in splitting the maxilla expands one side more than the other at the level of the bone. This is not a tooth borne expansion issue. This is a, a matter of the MSE uh, meeting more resistance from the bone structure on one side of the face than the other, and the side that is stiffer. Uh, it acts like a wall, and the MSE pushes off of that side, expanding one side more than the other. In my case, my right uh, my right side expanded only about three millimeters, and my left side expanded about seven. That's what I would estimate, and I'm going to take a take you on a tour of how we can see that in my profile and in my teeth. So, let's go into the Photos app. So here's a, a me, of course. This photo was taken uh, on June 28th, just a few days ago. You don't really see too much asymmetry here, okay? You can't really tell that the left side, this is the left side, by the way, over here. You can't really tell that this side expanded significantly more than this side. I mean, if you really look closely, you can see something is different on this side, but it's not, uh, it doesn't jump out at you. Oh my gosh, his left side is so much bigger. But if we look at the diagonal, let's take a look at the diagonal. Okay, this is my left side. You can see a sharp angle from the cheekbone to the chin. Because remember, the MSE expands the cheekbones. And because it expanded my left side more, you can see that there's a, a prominent angulation from my left cheekbone down to my chin. Compare that to my other side that expanded less. Look at much rounder, much softer, less of a sharp angulation. From here to here, soft, sharp, steep angle, soft. More expansion on that side, this is the left side, less expansion on this side, this is the right side. Okay? So from certain angles, you can see a difference. And now I also want to show you what asymmetry looks like at the level of the teeth, okay? And this is a little bit striking, and, um, you know, the main orthodontic challenge that lies ahead for us is going to be correcting this, what I'm about to show you. So here is what asymmetry looks like at the level of the teeth. So you can see, you know, so mind you, I did have some existing asymmetry coming in from AGA. The AGA actually expanded my left side forward more than my right side. So some of what you're seeing here is asymmetry being carried over from the AGA. However, some of what you're seeing here is also asymmetry from the MSC. In fact, probably um, a good amount of it. So you see, this is the side that expanded less. Okay, you see uh, a good relationship between the upper right and the lower right. They're sort of on top of each other. It's good. But over here, you see, oh my gosh, those upper left teeth are just way outside of the lower left teeth because the MSE expanded this half of my maxilla so much more. You can really see it here. So another view of that is right here. It's like, oh my gosh, look at how much more the bone here is expanded. Okay, it's a little bit striking. It's a little bit like, well, what the hell are you going to do to fix that? So the answer to what we're going to do to fix that is actually it's going to be limited by the fact that my front teeth are so damaged by the aga. So because these incisors and the canines to a degree are so compromised because aga wore away their uh, alveolar bone and their root structure and the gums, we can't solve this asymmetry by expanding these right teeth out, okay? Because these teeth cannot be pushed forward at all because there's no bone in front of them except for the bone added by the graft a month ago on May 29th. What we're going to have to do instead to reshape this arch is most likely to pull this tooth, this tooth, and this tooth back. Okay, we're going to have to pull these back to reshape the arch to make it more uniform. And then, of course, we're going to do some SFOT on this lower left quadrant to expand this out to get me out of this crossbite on the left side. So that's what an MSE asymmetry, you know, multiplied by AGA asymmetry, both on the same side. Um, that's what it looks like. I, I know it's a little bit drastic, 
and it's going to require some orthodontic work to fix it, right? But um, that's the challenge that lies ahead. So hope you all enjoyed that, and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, peace out.